Stop the war. This is one immoral war. Stop the war. So for justice and for law. Stop the war. So for me, two futures remain unresolved. Firstly and most importantly, Whilst it's generally recognised that joining the invasion was a bad thing to do, there has been no national facing up to this wrongdoing. Unlike in the UK, where the Trouble Report was handed down in 2016, there has been no Australian inquiry into its involvement. As a nation, it seems, we are unwilling to admit ourselves that what we did was highly immoral, highly immoral if not actually criminal. An inquiry is long overdue. How and why did Australia get involved? What did it cost? What did it achieve? Why don't we even want to know the answer to these questions? And the second thing is that we've never faced up or admitted to being the suckers that we were, to the manipulative lives that had their origin in the USA. <laughs> Alemuniandem Alemadiu Geraho El Shuftu Ablemachu Fakainaya Omridaia Yasibu is I Alaya. My generation has witnessed nothing in Iraq but wars and their consequences. On the very day, 20th of March 2003, the rain was falling all the day long, exactly like today. And we are gathering in this place. The Iraqi people, men, women, and children, felt as if the sky was being crying for them at that time. Keeping in mind the painful memories of the Second Gulf War, fear had found its way to hearts, and everyone was waiting for the evening of that day, waiting for the death and destruction coming from above, heavier than the falling rain during the day. Shock and awe, that was the chosen name for the military operation took place to invade Europe and open the door to fall in the pickle in which we Iraqis, coalition forces and their opponents are stuck all together even after 18 years by now. The promises of freedom, democracy and prosperity the Iraqis long for have never come true. Invading Iraq was an, was an unjustifiable huge mistake, if not a brutal crime. However, I believe in peace and that the chance to turn over the page of all that madness is still there and peace can be achieved. Violence has achieved no good for all of us, no matter who. Peace, on the other hand, can do the job. Come, you masters of war. You that build all the guns, you that build the death planes, you that build the big bombs, you that hide behind walls, you that hide behind desks, I want you to know I can see through your masks. You've thrown the worst fear that can ever be hurled, fear to bring children into the world. For threatening my baby, unborn and unnamed You ain't worth the blood that runs in your veins The people of Australia said no to war But then the Prime Minister John Howard ignored us Howard needs to face a criminal court for crimes against Iraq and Australia yeah, yeah. Democracy and the rule of law also lost out when Australia joined the war in Iraq. Well, as we know, Iraq is still a devastated country. Its assets have been looted. Its peoples are still denied real democracy. 
and we've just seen the Biden administration take less than a month in office before it bombed the Iraq-Syria border just a week ago. It's a reminder that the imperial war makers are still in charge. We shouldn't also forget the people who took great risks to bring us the real story of the war. Chelsea Manning, Julian Assange, Assange who of course remains behind bars, which is also another travesty of justice. So on this day, 18 years after the invasion of Iraq, we commit to keep fighting for justice. It is our internationalist duty to help the Iraqi people and all victims of these imperial wars, and of course, to stop new wars from starting. Let there be joy, let there be joy, let there be joyful times, joyful times, and let joy surround us all. Yes, in times like these that bring us to our knees, let there be joy. An illegal war fought on a lie, a giant lie, and a lie based on the so called weapons of mass destruction, which did not exist, and also based on the false premise of 9 11, which was used as an excuse. And I think the point made that this war was actually manufactured by those forces, those forces in capitalist class that need war, they need war in the Middle East to seize the oil assets of the countries there. That was what largely lay behind the war on Iraq and the continuing wars that are fought over and over again in the Middle East to get control of the oil resources. Than they were before. Let the peace. 